Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're pulling uh, a vacuum on an air conditioner, getting ready to let the Freon go. So I'm uh, going to show you how that works here. We've got our gauges, and uh, they are hooked up to the low and the high side on the air conditioner. Now, this is uh, done a little bit differently right here um, because of the way we want to pull this vacuum. So the, normally the high side line would be right here. Uh, but because I want to have dedicated control to shutting the vacuum pump on and off, I'm using the high side uh, spot to connect the vacuum pump. And then here we have our high side line uh, and our low side line. So the low side goes down and hooks on the low side just like it would normally. And uh, the high side line does the same thing. Those are tightened on there. Uh, nice and snug, just hand tight. Don't use wrenches to tighten these because you want to let the gasket do the work. Now, we're in this vacuum pull down here, and uh, once we get a good vacuum pulled, we can turn off this valve, and that will allow us to monitor the vacuum in our system while we uh, allow it to see if it sits and holds the vacuum. So we're gonna let this go a while yet. Now one thing I like to do is hold my thumb over the exhaust on my vacuum pump for a while. Maybe like 15 seconds or so. And then just see if any air releases when I let go. There wasn't a whole lot there so I mean that's just a kind of an analog indicator. If you have a continual stream of air that's, that's being pumped out then you probably have a leak somewhere. All right, so we're going to go ahead and shut this uh, valve here off. And that isolates our, our system with our high and low side so we can monitor our vacuum. Shut off the vacuum pump. Now you can see right here, this is indicating the pressure for this hose right here. That goes to the vacuum pump. Now the vacuum pump has check valves in it, but they don't hold perfectly. Maybe a new, a brand new vacuum pump would. Um, but that's why you need to be able to shut off the valve going to the vacuum pump. Otherwise, you'd be reintroducing air into your system. Because this would be holding at a perfect vacuum still if, it, uh, if the check valves are working perfectly. So that's why you have to isolate that in order to monitor your, your pressure in the unit. So you can see here it's telling us it's stable at about 740 microns. Uh, now, optimally, they say 500 microns is kind of your target. Um, I am really happy, in this case, with 742 microns. It's been stable for maybe uh, five minutes so far, and uh, this is going to be perfectly fine. Now, if you just have analog gauges and you pull a vacuum at 29.9, and uh, you just let it sit for 20, 30 minutes and make sure that that doesn't come up at all, you should be great. So, just uh, this is just important to make sure you don't have any leaks. I should probably get an additional micron gauge separate from this because this has been a little bit uh, finicky and I think I may even have a better vacuum on this than it's indicating. Uh, so, hopefully you don't chew me out in the comments too much. So, see so yeah, it jumps around sometimes a little bit but still are holding a stable vacuum so that's good. So to release the Freon out of the system that's in the air conditioner when it comes pre-charged, what we need here is a 5 16 Allen ratchet. I'll leave the link in the description to where you can get the right sizes, as well as a, what is that, 3 16 Allen. Now you could use a regular Allen wrench too, but a ratchet makes it nice and handy. So, uh, now we're going to go ahead and open this valve first. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. Once you get this opened initially, you can let just a little bit of Freon out and then remove your liquid line hose. Unless you have a reason you need to monitor the pressure on the liquid line, uh, you can remove that right away so that you don't end up having to pull this hose off while it's full of liquid. So, see what we can do this here quick. I'm just going to crack this loose. There we go. Now I'm going to take this valve off right away. There was just a little bit of pressure there, but not a lot, and no liquid because the liquid didn't have time to circulate all the way through. 
I'll go ahead and open this up the rest of the way. And then do the same for the liquid line. Close the liquid line. Get those all the way backed out. Now, you don't have to put any back pressure on these, so once you get them open, you don't have to put a lot of pressure. Just get it, open it until it stops. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten these caps here just a little bit. Good. And we don't need the liquid side right now, so we can put that cap on there. And now we're just about ready to start the unit up. So that's been it. That's how to vacuum down an air conditioner and let the Freon go. Uh, so now we're ready to go ahead and fire this thing up and test it and see what the pressures look like. Uh, so I'm going to make a video on that next, but that was the main objective here. Vacuuming it down and releasing the Freon from the unit. So we're going to see uh, what the charge looks like and if we need to add any more or not. So I'll try to link that video here after this one, but hit the thumbs up button if this helped you out. And please subscribe for more videos like this one. Talk to you later.